Hi folks, Fun Guy here and I'm uh, here to demonstrate how to do the cross bucks on a buck and pole fence. My son Mike helped me uh, lay this out and, and my grandson uh, uh, helped him uh, yesterday and we knocked out a few of these bucks. But uh, then I had to work by myself and so I had to figure out a way where just a one man operation could handle this procedure. And the first thing to start off when you're, when you're doing this is uh, you want to have a nice table there that you can work, it's a work table and uh, we laid out a 60 degree angle here of where the, the posts will be put in alongside of this and then we can go ahead and cut them and, and do the slots for the, uh, for the uh, notches in them. So anyway we're about ready to get started. Okay folks we're gonna make some chips fly now but before we get started on this I want to point out a few things. When you're working with a chainsaw you want to make sure you have some good safety equipment. You want to have some chaps that uh, protect you in case you slip with the saw. You want to have a nice helmet that's got ear protection and a face mask. And then make sure you're wearing gloves and then long sleeve heavy shirt uh, is, is a good idea as well. So I've got some logs laid out here. These are uh, six foot long leg logs and they're about seven inches in diameter. They're a pretty hefty log to be working with but we're making a hefty fence. I've got a clamp on this uh, log over here, pipe clamp, to suck it down and hold it in place as I'm working. And then, since I'm working by myself here and wanting to be able to move this log in and out quickly, well, I've got an inner tube here from a bicycle. I've got a bolt right here that uh, holds the tube there. And then I lift this log up and put the tube around it, and that holds it nice and securely there. And then when we rotate the log here, it'll spin here with no problem. So then when we start off, what we do is we'll make a, just a slight cut here to show us uh, to mark the log and on this side as well and then do the same thing from underneath go ahead and we'll, we'll uh, mark the log there and there then we'll move this log off to the side and go ahead and cut the first log and, uh, and put the notches, notches in it there okay we're about ready to get started now we're going to make some chips fly we'll uh, put the face mask down, put the ear muffs on and we'll go ahead and mark these logs got the logs marked. Now I move this first log off out of the way and you note that I've just got a, a mark there where I'm going to cut. And when I first make my first cuts I go in at a little bit of an angle like this. You notice I've got this mark here that tells me how deep I want to go. On these logs here we will go down about a third of the way and then they'll fit together real nice. So after I get the side cuts made then I'll make a multiple cuts here and uh, demonstrate how we take the, uh, the chips out there. I've cleared out some of the, the chips here and then what I like to do is uh, uh, to make a real nice cut here is do what's called a plunge cut and you lay the saw in here like this you have to make sure that you've got some wood behind the tip here because it's a dangerous uh, cut, cut to make uh, uh, with a chainsaw because it wants to flip the saw uh, this way so you notice when I, when I uh, put the saw in here I'll try to hold it securely and then we'll clear these chips out there
that makes a nice smooth uh, smooth uh, surface there and then we'll go ahead and do the top log okay we roll it back over in here rubber band down there allows me to roll this so we can go ahead and get it placed in there I'll get my marks on top there notice I'm going a little bit of an angle as I make the, the, these cuts on the side there that's because the, the logs round and if we're only going about a third of the way well then it makes it fit nice some pretty nice cuts there and the logs fit down pretty good but if the logs don't kick down real good here's a trick that you can do sometimes you get a little bit of a wood kerf in there that holds things up rather than going back in with the saw and widening that out a lot of times if you just go ahead and you know, whack that log you can knock her down in there real nice and solid see how that log went down there right there and it's down probably pretty flush looking pretty good okay okay Here's what I'm going to do here now. I'm going to suck uh, these logs down using these uh, log screws. Got one that's eight inches, one six inches. These are some pretty hefty logs here, so I'm going to use an eight inch uh, screw on them. And uh, we'll put it right down through the middle there. Okay. That was the eight inch one. And then uh, we'll take the logs off, and on the other side, I'll go ahead and drive a nail from the other side, and that'll suck these logs pretty tight together. Okay. Okay, so what we do is we drill a hole in from the other side, and I put this rib nail in, and then we we'll suck that down. Okay, it's important to wear the, wear the hearing protection. And now we've got a log screw coming in from one side, this rib nail coming in from the other. That's going to hold this, this uh, together real tight. Got some real nice joints on this one. 